all right student let's continue with the uh, lecture on mechanics uh, this topic is very confusing to students and i have taught so many students and checked so many papers this is an area which is not clear to students okay look at the title conservation of mechanical energy look at the second title work energy principle okay what we will do is let's study first the conservation of mechanical energy and then as a second let's study work energy principle okay so if you have a body if you have a body any body can have energies right so you can have energy like kinetic energy of the body the body can have a potential energy so kinetic energy potential energy if there is no external force on the body then the mechanical energy of the body remains conserved if there is no external force on the body except gravity when i say potential energy then gravity is acting if there is no external force on the body except gravity then the total mechanical energy of the body remains conserved okay so ke plus pe kinetic energy and pe is equal to constant provided when external force is equal to zero when the external force is zero this situation stands true gravity is acting that's only external force which is there so gravity and is acting now a lot of students say when is this applicable let me tell you if you are in a horizontal motion so whether you are in horizontal motion whether you are in vertical motion or you are in a inclined plane this rule is always valid so if you are going horizontally this rule is valid right so the total mechanical energy will remain conserved if there is no external force obviously when you are horizontal you don't have potential energy but you only have kinetic energy the kinetic energy will remain conserved if you are moving horizontally there is no external force on you now let's talk about vertical motion what happens in a vertical motion gravity is acting and you know gravity gravitational field is a conservative field so whatever energy is there just gets transformed from one uh, form to another so if you throw this body with a kinetic energy of 5 joule right the energy throughout the motion throughout the motion will remain 5 joules conserved 5 joules say it reaches the highest point now everything is potential this is potential energy you start you throw with 5 joules right now you just have kinetic energy throughout the motion your kinetic energy goes down the potential in the increases and the potential energy finally becomes five the total mechanical energy has become into potential energy so vertical case inclined case okay so you you project the body with a velocity from here okay so you project the body from here it should be some velocity remember there is no friction there is no friction here there is no air friction here there is no friction on the inclined plane also so whatever we are because friction is an external force and we have written external force has to be zero 
right? So even if you project it like this, it gains a height, right? It keeps on gaining height. So the velocity will go down and the height will go up. The potential energy goes up. Okay. So therefore, in this case, also the total mechanical energy can be conserved, inclined, horizontal, and vertical. All cases you can put Ke plus P is equal to constant. Whatever we studied right now is called as conservation of mechanical energy. I hope this is making sense, right? So when you do numericals, this is a very important concept that is used in work power energy. The, we start with conservation of mechanical energy. Let's talk about the second one, which is what? Which is the work energy principle. What is the work energy principle, right? Now the students are confused. What exactly is the difference between this and that? Okay, now what will happen is you will have a situation where external force will be there. The external force will be there. Okay, so which means the work you will do will get converted into energy. The work you will do, for example, you push, I push, this was stationary, I do 5 joules of work then this body gets a 5 joule energy, kinetic energy. So work energy principle deals with the conversion of work into energy with the help of an external force. External forces in what? Now, how do, I, how do I think like external force? So let's say you have a body which is moving horizontally, right? But now the external force is not zero. The external force is 5 newtons friction. Okay, this is friction newton. This is 5 newton and there is a friction acting in this side. The body is moving in this side. So obviously the friction has to oppose the motion. Now the body has a kinetic energy of 5 Joules. Okay. When the friction started acting, the body has a friction of 5 joules. Now, when the body moves by one, say half a meter, half a meter, what is the work done by the friction? The work done by the friction is half into 5 is equal to 2.5 joule. Right? From where will this come? This 5 joule got converted into 2.5 joule of heat energy, wastage, it got wasted. So the balance energy which will be left with this body will be 2.5 joules uh, so, and 2.5 joule got wasted in overcoming the frictional force. Got it? So total 5 joule is there. 2.5 is you still have. 2.5 joule got wasted. Now, let's take another example. So you have this body. It is having a velocity, sorry, a kinetic energy of say 10 joules. Very basic. Moving horizontally. This is a frictionless surface. At some extent, you push it with the force of 10 newton you push it with the force of 10 newton and move it to a distance of 1 meter okay what is the work you have done the work you have done is equal to 10 into 1 right work is force into displacement into cos of 0 the dot product right so 10 1 into cos of 0 is equal to 10 joules what was the initial energy of 10 of this body 10 joules after one meter you will see that you have 20 joules right this 10 joule of work has got added to the body this 10 joule of work has got added to the body with the help of this force 
So the mechanism to add work is this, the force you apply. I have not used the word mechanical energy conservation so far. There is no conservation because you are doing external work. If you do external work, you will change the mechanical energy of the system. So be very clear on the two cases. On one side, you have the conservation of mechanical energy, no external force except gravity. And that too is a conservative field. Total energy remains conserved. On the other side of the spectrum, you have the work energy principle. External force gets involved. The work can be positive or negative. The positive work increases the energy of the body. In what form? It can, if you take this example, if I apply a force here, it will increase the kinetic energy of the body because it will increase the velocity as well as that it will increase the height of the body. Right? Potential energy will also go up. So it is so this work energy principle is applicable to horizontal movement, the vertical motion, as well as this type of inclined motion. What, all what you need is a ref, is a mention of an external force. Now, in a vertical scenario, you will say, what is the external force? It can be a, a viscous, viscous force acting on the body. It is going up, so the viscous force is acting downward, right? So there is a negative work which is getting added to this body. It won't be able to attain that much height because every time it tries to go goes up, it wastes a lot of energy in overcoming the viscous force. So it loses some energy in the form of work done against the viscous force. So in vertical scenario also you have possibility of external force other than gravity. Okay. So, so there can be many cases, but I hope the distinction is clear. In one case, external force is not there except gravity. In the other case, you ought to have a, a external force which either gives you energy, increases your mechanical energy, or reduces your mechanical energy. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Go to my playlist on mechanics. You will see numerous questions on the topic of momentum, collision, coefficient of restitution, Newton's law of motion, the concept of uh, mass, inertia, you name it, second law. Everything is available to you. In fact, I have a separate playlist for work power energy. But today's agenda was to make you understand that there is a confusion in your mind as to what is this conservation of mechanical energy and how is it different from the work energy principle. I hope you've got the distinction clear in your mind. Thank you very much for your time today. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel because you're going to see some wonderful conceptual questions being discussed. I already keep on adding neat practice questions. I add J mains practice questions and I also put conceptual questions, reasoning assertion questions and multiple choice questions in my community. Join my community to test yourself. I have given the videos as solutions and explanation so that you can test yourself also, right? Against those questions. If you don't understand, solutions are available within the playlist. A link will be available. Thank you very much again and wait for my next video.